What's poppin'? What's cracking? What's going on? What's up? I want to do a quick video talking about um, first Vosh and his reaction to the updated news about the bike Karen, the city bike Karen thing. Uh, and then I want to do another couple of minutes, maybe two, three minutes, maybe more, about just generally how lefties deal with uh, black people in race and whatnot. Quickly, uh, so Bosch went over the city bike Karen where an individual who was a nurse tried. That's what I, that's what I get for trying to do a video in the middle of Boston, huh? Um, anyway, so he tries to do, take a bike, uh, apparently, and then these black dudes says, it's actually our bike, they fight over it, gets on the news, everybody calls her a Karen, right? New news apparently comes out, her lawyer says she's got a receipt proving that it was actually her bike, that had it a minute before the, uh, the, uh, confrontation even went down, um, so now there seems reasonable that these, uh, dudes were wrong, maybe in the wrong, but they were at least wrong about that being their bike, Potentially, they were malicious. Potentially, they were, um, they knew it wasn't their bike. Potentially, maybe they just got confused. Maybe they didn't read the number. Maybe they were trying to do a prank. Maybe they're, who's to say what they were doing? But the point is, Vosh came in hot at this, at this lady calling over Karen. His chat was all on board. I'm like, yeah, but white people, white people ain't shit. I hate white people. I wish I wasn't white. You know, the regular um, lefty stuff that uh, all of my compatriots tend to do for some reason. Um, they really don't like white people more than is necessary, in my opinion, but whatever. Um, and new information comes out. Walsh is like, oh, shit, maybe. Well, at the very least, she wasn't being, uh, there's, she didn't do anything wrong. Even the fake tears or whatever, or the um, you know, asking for help, seems reasonable. Because if it was actually her bike and three dudes come out of nowhere trying to say, actually, it's our bike, you're probably going to be like, stop that. No, get away from me. Help. And then there's, you're pregnant and there's three large men coming at you. You're going to ask for help and tell these people to stop. Um, yeah, that's, um, that seems like it makes sense. Uh, the Walsh uh, is trying to let people know. Hey man, this was unreasonable to take we had. Let's walk it back and maybe, maybe these dudes were actually the bad guys the whole time. Chat was not having that. Chat was not having that at all. Chat was like, mm, well, it's gotta be something else. Nah, I ain't buying it. Well, maybe she still shouldn't have had that demeanor. It's like, what? What? Well, she was tripping, confused. Like, guys, what is. Nah. And it wasn't like just of a tripping of like, hey guys, what I say goes. It was confusion on his part. I think he didn't realize the type of um, um, audience that he fosters has a tendency to do uh, this certain thing, which is if white person does something potentially bad, evil, Satan, Hitler, black person does something potentially bad, need more context. You need more context. You never know what happened. I think in all situations, we should try and get the most context possible. I think that's reasonable, right? We should always try and get most context so we're not making assumptions, basis assumptions without with very little evidence. We should probably never make assumptions without little evidence. We probably shouldn't be crucifying people in general. I hate the fact that when someone does something, even if it is morally deplorable, people start like finding these people doing death threats, showing up at their home and doing stuff like that, trying to find them. It is not your job to enact justice for situations like these. Even if she was being a racist Karen, don't show up at her home. You can, this is a weird sentence, but <laughs> you can be racist, I guess. People could be racist as long as, like, she, like, she's being inconveniencing people. Like, that's not, a, like, being a piece of shit slash racist doesn't earn you the death threats, in my opinion. You should try and teach this person to not be racist. Because if I got death threats for having an opinion that I thought was justified, I wouldn't think maybe my opinion's unjustified. I would think the whole world's crazy and it would further cement me into my opinion. Like that's what always happens when this happens. So let's just try and teach and educate people. When you see something racist happens, make sure you and your friends are doing your part to spread positive, useful information so more racists don't get born like that, right? That's our goal. Anyway, let's get back to it. Chat was not hearing this. He kept trying to explain that, guys, we were so quick to crucify this lady. Why are we unwilling to accept potential blame? And he wasn't even saying, like, you know, he was saying, like, maybe these guys are pranking people. They're like, someone in the chat, hopefully, ironically, it was like, y you wouldn't do this, something like this for clout. I'm like, have you not been on TikTok? Have you not been on Instagram? <laughs> like, this is one of the chillest things for clout i've seen some of there's a video some black dudes running through walmart just pouring milk all over their head big bro y'all ain't seen that 
There's this dude just, they just standing on the counter yelling at people, bro. For no reason, my G. These slides clout. People will do anything for clout. I don't know that these dudes did anything for clout. I don't know anything about them. But it's just weird that you people, it feels weird to say you people if you know I'm talking about a non-specific group, right? It just feels wrong. Anyway, it's weird that Vosh's chat, who was so willing to condemn someone before, is now unwilling to condemn someone off of more evidence, right? Because the evidence we had is some lady was crying and the dudes in the video were making an accusation about the lady who was crying and being extra and whatnot. So we took their word for it. Now, we at least have proof that their word was wrong and that she was justified in defending her bike reasonably. Unless the lawyer doctored the screenshots or she doctored the screenshots of the bike, which could happen, maybe. It seems really unlikely. Bad, bad argument. If you're gonna try and win a case, like a civil case or something about this. But uh damn, I'd be looking pretty as hell, don't I? Sorry. Um It's just weird. If you're gonna condemn someone so quickly on less evidence, new evidence comes out, and now let's wait and see. Who's to say? It just what for what it seems like to me, now we're just gonna talk more about that racing. It seems like you guys are just doing what I call reverse racism. Some people call reverse racism when you're racist to white people. I call that racism <laughs> i don't know why like it's not only racism when it's to minority groups um like does that mean like in mexico you can't be racist to mexicans if you're white i don't think that makes sense right like you're just race you're like the dominant group isn't deciding what racism means racism is just you know prejudiced or discrimination based on a racial group regardless of power structure the whole power structure argument about racism makes no fucking sense to me it's stupid and it's built just to make it um easier to make fun of white people um and that's not productive that just convinces more white people to be conservatives let's be reasonable here anyway we're getting back to it this reverse racism in which like black people can do no wrong minorities did not do anything wrong but in this case it's more like white people definitely did something wrong if black person or minority is perceived to have done something wrong let's not make any let's not make any judgments whatsoever we'll just wait and so hopefully new information comes out and if new information comes out proving black it was wrong let's just not even think about it let's not even talk about it like that's still that's reverse racism right assuming like trying to it's it's unnecessary defense it's infantilizing whatnot and also it's you know it's you could be getting innocent people in trouble for stuff right like if somebody's involved in an issue it's the same for me, like, it's the same thing you see, like, um, when a woman, um, makes some accusation at any dude, at a, let's assume both parties are white for simplicity, woman makes an accusation at some dude, it's kind of, it's like, kind of like the believe all woman type of thing, even though some women couldn't be liars, it's true, probably not in most cases, um, this is, this is anecdotal now, in my experience with most women I know and most dudes I know, um, it does, seem, most of the women I know have had something, some sort of assault type, most of the ones that I have had something assault, like happened to them, they didn't even want to report it, like they were unwilling to even do so because of the trauma and the stress and the negative backlash of the community and the lack of proven evidence and all work. So like, it's pretty unlikely that you're going to make an accusation at all. Um, so like the people that are making accusations, I don't think it's necessarily unlikely that those ones are true. There's like, there's not, it's not very beneficial to lie about it. Even now in a much more pro woman, um, community, it's still pretty, it's a negative impact to even talk about it. Sometimes it's easier to just, um, try and put it away and then try to deal with it in therapy. Um, but like we saw with the white situation, right? Well, actually, no, that's not a believable woman thing, right? They're, they're non-binary. I think they might, they may have been a trans guy. Ooh, I don't know, actually. They definitely weren't a, they didn't, they weren't a cis woman. Uh, they didn't identify as a woman at the very least. But uh, as it seems right now, um, the rule isn't really a woman thing. It is mostly a non-cis guy thing. So as long as you're not a cis guy, well, as long as you're not a cis white guy, we'll take your side on things. Now, from uh, trans or LGBT anything does take precedence over black cis guy too. Um, well, the math I'll do a video on the math of that one of these days, but um, it's one of those things where like okay, well sometimes people are wrong or lying. Sometimes the protected group is wrong or lying. 
right? That can be the case. Um, I don't think it's usually the case, but I, like also one of the issues when it comes to like that is like when the Kuwait situation happened there and then the evidence and then Kuwait did his evidence, like clearly Kuwait was not in the wrong here. Um, half the response was uh, for the people who were, who were um, condemning him immediately. Like, I still stand by what I said. Um, it's like they were like, well, I was wrong this time, but I'll usually be right. So I don't even really care that I almost, that we villainized this innocent person. Uh, and the other responses from other people like, well, yes, I was wrong, but now this sets a bad precedent for believing other people. I don't know if that's even true. I think maybe we should just wait to make accusations until we have evidence. Like if someone makes a twit longer about this thing happened to me, we could be like, okay, I'm sorry if that's true and not go on a tirade burning people down or whatnot, not attack them until we get more evidence, right? I don't know. Um, I guess that's it. If you like what you saw, leave a like, do a subscribe, do a crime. Just kidding, don't do a crime, and I'm out.